Hey guys, so this is 5 a.m. in the morning and I was reading about something really interesting. So I thought that before I go to sleep, let's record this video. So let's get started. All right, so I was reading about universal approximation theorem. Universal approximation theorem basically ta talks about that if there is a real valued continuous function in a compact subset, a neural network can approximate that particular function. Now, um, the classical approach to universal approximation theorem says that a single layer deep neural network with a single hidden layer basically is good enough for approximation of any function. So, I thought that you know let's put this idea to test and let's take a function like multiplication to uh, and try to approximate it so before we move ahead we need to make sure that multiplication is a continuous function so here on this website I found a great article where it, it, there is a small proof where this guy proves that um like operations like addition scalar multiplication multiplication these things are continuous on a real space so you can check the proof out it's it's very nice i'll put this link in the description below so great now we know that neural networks uh, I'm, I'm really sorry multiplication is a continuous function now can we write a neural network to approximate it so I started to write a code which can generate some data for me. So what I do, what I'm, uh, I am doing here is, by the way, I am going to link this, uh, the whole code, the repository in the description below. So you can find this code and you can play with it. You can also try to find the mistakes in the code and try to correct that. So what I am doing here is I am trying to get random numbers and I'm trying to create a real numbers array for it. And then I shuffle that array. After that, I am creating a data set from uh, in which I split that array into two. So let's say you give me 10, uh, whatever this is, 100,000 points. I divide that by two, so we have 50,000 points. And then we uh, take first 50,000 as uh, x1, the another 50,000 as x2, multiply that, and then save the result uh, in this way. And finally, we dump the result in a data.csv file, which is this thing. So we can see here that this is x1, this is x2, and this is y. So, which is a multiplication of x1 and x2. So now we have got a data set to play with, and we have got a huge data set of like 5,000, 50,000 numbers. So can we write a neural network to approximate it? So I wrote a simple neural network in PyTorch. Um, I'm not going to like go into complete details of this, but uh, very simply put, this is a data loader which I wrote. And data loader is a great feature in PyTorch, so you should check that out. Um, and then here is a simple three, uh, two layer deep neural network. However, before this, I was using a single layer deep neural network where uh, the data comes and you know some operations, fully, this is fully connected layer one, this is fully connected layer two, this is fully connected layer three, and I'm using ReLU as an activation function. After that, I'm using stochastic gradient descent as an optimizer, so, uh, there is going to be another video on optimizers by the way, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and Then I simply train the neural network for let's say 100 epochs So I have some results for you already. So let me show you the results So this is the result of The single layer with um, uh, Which was trained on 100 epochs if you see the loss is not reducing too much however we can say that you know multiplication is a very complex process to be approximated by a single layer deep neural network so we can go with the advanced treatment of universal approximation theorem so let's see if we have uh, how the two layer deep neural network is performing so it seems to be performing a bit better than single layer deep neural network but still, I mean, the loss is, has not reduced too much. So I'll just open a single layer 
neural network result so it is actually similar the we cannot say till now that the sec two layer deep neural network is performing any better than a single layer deep neural network however the question becomes why uh, if we like increase the layer too much will neural network represent the multiplication function really well so the answer is no because the catch in the universal approximation theorem is the word approximation neural networks can approximate a function really well they don't represent the function end to end so let's say even if i achieve 99.99 or let's say 100% accuracy on this data set there it can be proved that there will be two numbers uh in the real number space which when feed uh, into the neural network is going to give me wrong results this means that neural network can try to approximate a very simple mathematical operation like uh multiplication but they will never be able to fully represent it and this is a powerful idea i think um it is a very simple but a very beautiful idea so i wanted to talk about that in this video so that's all guys i hope that you liked the video and if you really like the video and if you understood the idea try to do this uh, or rather try to think about the addition function do you think neural networks can approximate addition and if they can approximate addition then why are they not uh, or rather finding it really hard to approximate multiplication so great i hope to see some interesting comments and make sure that you subscribe to the channel